So everyone just needs to check himself and to ask, okay, what is my connection to Hashem? What is bringing me to Hashem? And if it's a certain book, so open it. And if it's a certain prayer, he'd bother do it or something, so go for that. Bring Hashem into your life. And if it's a certain rabbi, teacher, guide that gives you that inspiration into your life, so go. Go after him. Follow him. Follow his classes, walking in the middle of the night, talking live on Facebook, all excited from his new selfie. That's what you need to do. <laughs> if, it, if that brings Hashem into your life, so don't stop it. So just let it wash your life. And it's a process. Like we said, it takes time to come out from point A to point B. It's, it takes a while. I'm already 15, 16 years inside this process of tshuva. And I still have stains on my outfits. I still have cuts on my sleeves. And, but I'm doing tshuva. And I'm not giving up. And I received my blessing from my source of blessing. From the books that I opened. From my Hidbodo Duyot. From my rabbis. From, from where did I receive my inspiration? And you, every one of us, need to nullify himself to that path for that channel that God is bringing the bounty through into your life. And just to keep on revealing it and opening it and letting it come, letting it happen into your life. Invite it into your life in thought, in words, and in action. And the action is to nullify yourself to that, to throw your wisdoms, to let it happen, to invite it into your house, to listen to every advice, even when it's very painful, even when it hurts to hear. Wow, it's a rebuke. What, really? I need to change my ways? Breathe. Breathe on that topic for a while. Think on that topic. Pray on that topic. Take it to action. Take it into your life. Here, I'm sharing with you, waving my, my underpants in front of your, your camera. <laughs> Telling you the truth. We're washing our laundry outside. But everyone will see. We're not hiding anything. That's the process of tshuva. When you're just talking with Hashem Barach about your life, and you're begging, and you're saying, and then you look at your life, and you say, Hey, Rebunah Shalom, you're with me. You are with me. And it is because that I am being so honest with myself, and with my wife, and with my children. <laughs>